Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Vaughn and I'm here to do an energy read, a Pulse of Gaia read for today, October the 15th, 2022. All right guys, tapping into today's energy, it's a four day. Fours are about stability, home, family, and foundation. But there are two routes to this four and this is super interesting and why I'm here today on a Saturday. So 13 is the first vibration to this four. One, three, ones are new beginnings. Three is connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm. Or three, one. So here's our mirror days. This is the fourth mirror day since I was given these instructions about mirroring images. So four, and they've been focusing on stability, home, family, and foundation for quite some time. So it is super, super viable is exactly what I just heard. And that's the energy I feel like. This energy is right here on the earth plane now, shown capital N-O-W in my mind's eye. So um, the first thing I saw was 757 coding in my mind's eye. And this is, tells me on the universal clock, as a collective, this is where we at. We are at, <laughs> we at. This is where we are at, the 757 juncture. So sevens are this God journey and turning to your higher self or your God self. But the five in the middle is a change and or conflict. So some sort of change and or conflict to get every side, both sides, to their higher journey. Okay? Our message is going to be something along those lines. The title is Pegasus Power. It features 44 master building energy and 77 master building energy. And also the song, Give Me by Kirk Franklin. Our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a Pulse of Gaia read for today, October the 15th, 2022. Using me as the channel, please give us a clear and concise message you know how I read. Thank you. And so I am actually made to combine days of downloads. Not da This is like I'm covering October the 11th through today, the 15th, in this one download. This is heavy, palpable, shifting energy here on the earth realm. So after 757... I was shown Pegasus in my mind's eye and all capital letters. And then I heard uniting earth and sky. And then I was shown the word gas and then heard full throttle, the element of earth. And then I was shown the earth keepers card from the mystical shaman oracle deck. Um, then construction, under construction, building a monument, monumental. Lots of activity on the earth plane, plane today. Sekhmet. Hesta. Sekhmet, Egyptian goddess, defender of Ra. She can cause disease and she has the ability to heal. So she's a medicine woman energy and can call plagues. She is the protector or the eye of Ra. Hesta is another fire goddess. I've been visited by all of these fire goddesses for weeks now. And I feel like this energy is finally culminating on the earth realm. So eight, another fire goddess, Brigid, which is Oya in the Yoruba um, religion. So eight, movement and abundance. So this card actually presenting. So here physically on the earth plane. Turquoise. And then there is this Aztec God. And I cannot, this God gave me his name phonetically. Syllable by syllable. About 20 times until I finally said, can I call you X? Because I cannot say this name. And I, I, he said yes. So, something like that. Um, turquoise, I was made to add it to my set today. So, turquoise, super interesting. And it's we go deeper later 
or earlier in the days, but before this download. Then I heard gas and fire, and then I was shown a huge explosion in my mind's eye with the word boom. Now, this boom energy has been around since October of last year. I did a read, here comes the boom. And so, but I always felt it as an energetic boom until today. There is going to be some sort of huge explosion here on the earth realm. Relating to gas, some sort of gas explosion here on the earth realm. But it's all injustice judgment coding, all injustice judgment energy, all to get Gaia on the God path. Starlings 2020 chatter, and the chatter was at a distance. So wherever this huge gas fire is, this explosion is, is at a distance from me physically. So... As I sat with explosion boom, I was given two impressions. So the first impression was an explosion boom, like um, the one I read in the energies last October, that energetic boom that was getting people to a corrective path. So, and then I felt a auspicious boom for those that were in right relationship, a cornucopia, like a raining down, a thunder, a storm of cornucopia blessings. It all depends on the energy that you have cultivated. These are destined movements here on the earth realm. Now I'm told to go to the 11th of October, which was a nine day. There were two routes to this nine, this growth and expansion on this day. The horn is super significant. They make me note. So this nine vibration is super significant. Two routes, 27 or 18, two seven, balance partnerships and or alliances in the God vibration, on the God walk, and in this growth and expansion, stomach growl. So definitely talking about a um, raised perspective. And then 18, which is new beginning and movement. I do not feel the abundance piece for this 18 vibration. First thing I heard tapping in here was birth charts. And I was shown 801 in my mind's eye. Eights are about new beginnings. Zero is God's source. One, excuse me, I saw it backwards. So yeah, I'm on a, a, a higher realm. Um, so ones are new beginnings. Zero is God's source. And eights are this movement and abundance energy, but I feel strong movement birthing charts and that is so deep for those that do not know excuse me so strong concentration here excuse me give me a second my sage is out so from the time that you enter this realm in a hospital setting you are charted your birth is charted and this chart actually outlines your birth your plan your path here on this realm from major junctures, major conjunctions, major twists, turns, major pitfalls, um, major develops in your life. It's all outlined on this birth chart. So if you are detached from who you truly are, that does not mean that the powers that run this realm are. They are aware of who you are at the time that you enter this realm. So birth charts in this read hit strongly. Then I heard star seeds. Then I heard CIA experiments watched heavily from birth. And then there was a grackle squawk. Now this grackle squawk came at 8.01 in the a.m. after they showed me 8.01 in my mind's eye. So it lets me know that this is super, super significant, this grackle squawk. So grackles are about fast bolt of lightning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So lightning, storm, the sky, all symbols here. Um, lightning, fast illumination. 
also common crackle that's for both tail crackle common crackle symbolism is doing right spiritually equals victory doing wrong spiritually equals defeat so revealing the veil and when i sat with revealing the veil that wasn't just knowing that there is a veil that wasn't seeing the veil that wasn't seeing past the veil that was actually showing you what this veil is made of okay then i heard star versus star seed and then they went further and said star and put under star celebrity and then star seed they put under star seed god's chosen chosen galactic star huge difference then i heard supernova and then pegasus now this pegasus they want to give the code for was at 12 18 in the afternoon one two i've spilled the spiritual po po one eight for this 18 vibration that i talked about already this movement this 18 vibration that breaks to this nine. So, and then I heard bring earth and sky together. Pegasus will not be tethered or held back from her mission. Freedom, wild, Gaia and spirit combine as one to explore and unite all realms. So not just, it's a twofold mission. Not to just explore the all realms, but to explore and unite. So connection there, um, all realms. That download featured Jack Harlow, first class. And that Harlow song was given to me at a count, starting a count, okay? And then on the 12th, featuring the song, comfortable by h-e-r i was shown the jaguar in my mind's eye from the mystical shaman oracle deck there are two routes to this 10 vibration it's a 10 day on the 12th two eight and straight up 10 so this 10 straight up 10 is the concentration a completion now this disjointed two eight is Balance partnerships and alliance and movement in it to get to a phase of completion. And I feel like closing out old cycles to begin anew. This other 10 is a straight out completion. I feel like a transformation, a transition. Then I heard the Jaguar drives a disjointed completion. Communication about a completion. And then I was shown the light eye of God from the universe has your back in my mind's eye. This title was Pegasus bringing earth and sky together. And then I was shown flying in my mind's eye, a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. This is about becoming that which God has designed you to be and being comfortable in the light. Why is, a dis why is it a disjointed completion is what I asked my team. And then I was shown two for balance, eight for movement. Balance had to be achieved first to access movement. Balancing of self, stabilization, steady and sure. Vision of someone pulling a carriage like a horse carriage normally. Um, and stopping periodically to rest and rejuvenate. So doing the work of a horse. And as soon as I said that I was brought back to last evening at 7.57 in the evening, which is, uh, my team is so intentional, which is the time that I was shown in this download on today. I live in a residential area and I heard a horse trotting down my street. Okay. This was all after this, these Pegasus downloads. This was on yesterday, last evening at 7.57, okay? The things that I have experienced since I've been gone, I always experienced magical things on this realm, but they have been intensified times 10, heard loud and clear. So that was my, and this horse, I the first time it went around the block, 
I envisioned it and they showed me in my mind's eye. The second time I was so blown away that I had to see it with my vis visible, tangible sight. So I got up and I went to the window to see this horse carrying a carriage of four people around the block. And this carriage ride went on for about six hours. You can't make this stuff up. So, um, and then we have on the 13th, 11 or two vibration. So here is master building energy 11 or two. And um, so master building 11 energy is the concentration, divine inspiration, synchronicity, and encouragement to keep going. Title of this download is Charmed by Grace. And it was received at 8.08 .08 in the AM, which is destined coding, matching the destined coding that I told you from today's download. Then I heard, in the rain, desperation, those that are in mimicry energy are desperate for attention at this point. And then I heard a cardinal chirp song, also in the rain, and that was distant but loud. Let's me know that this warning signal is away from me, but it is a loud warning. And then there was a rhythm of 1112, 1112, 1112, and it gave me a feeling of double time before it starts a new round. And then I heard three being addressed by the one, two, two day. Okay. And then I was shown the one, two in my mind's eye. This reading featured a rose in Harlem. And that is by um, Tiana Taylor. It be the ones who say they real they roll for you. What is it? It'd be the ones, the ones you love them too. It'd be the ones who swear they real, not true. It'd be them ones. It'd be them ones. Don't get caught up. Turquoise symbolism also in this download. The definition of charm, delight greatly to control or... Achieve by or as if by magic. Turquoise spiritual properties aligns all chakras, stabilizing mood swings, instills inner calm, power to prevent panic attacks. Another thing, someone is having serious panic attacks. If you're on this dark side of this energy and you know that this, this boom is coming, this explosion is coming, you are having serious panic attacks. Assist creative problem solving and promote self-realization. Then I heard the mirrors. Either you are the mirror or someone needs to take a deep look in the mirror. And then, oh my goodness, the 14th, the, day, the day's download was so detailed that it covered the frequency bands of the brain from gamma to beta to alpha, theta, and delta. And it features a specific date. And I feel like this date is um, super, super significant here on the earth realm, 10-23-2022. This is a read that is so detailed, they told me to stop. So it will be addressed later. So for today, that is where I will lend. lend. Super interesting. This is where I will end this download. Now let's talk about the cards that present because they tell a very detailed story. So they, I'm going to show you how they came out. So first presenting in my lap. These two cards, upright in my lap. Passion Ignited, card number one. Ones are about new beginnings. And um, victory and success, card number six. Sixes are about harmony. And this is that same 16 energy that was talked about where I saw 16, 16. And there, the other set of 16 energy was in mimicry energy. This is the original 16 energy. 
passion has been ignited and victory and, and success is assured. After that, what came out front and center was silence, a suffering in silence. Card number nine, nines are about growth and expansion. This is the nine of swords in the traditional deck. This is sleepless night, night, stress, worry, and anxiety. I tell no lies because they tap me into your energy. You are so afraid. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you have cultivated in the dark and you have some knowledge of the intensity of this boom that you are having serious panic attacks. Who? This reversed emperor, this reversed person who has overdone their control here on the earth realm. Card number four, about stability, home, family, and foundation. So, what presents reversed are these two cards. It lets me know who's in this energy. So date of birth for 12 in any combination is significant. I'll say it again. Date of birth for 12 in any combination is significant. I also feel an ancestor with this date of birth who has been here posted for about a month trying to get you to stop your activity. Literally, this person has been screaming. I, this is the first time I've been able to say it. She knows. She knows. She knows. Every read, okay? So it's for someone who thinks that they are flying under the radar, but you are fully exposed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So now I want to get cards from both of these decks to close us out. This is our message for today. There's going to be some sort of energetic boom and some sort of huge tangible gas explosion here on the earth realm. Going to the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck first, which is wrapped in indigo, all about seeing clearly past the veil The seer, based on seeing clearly past this veil, this is the, the ability to perceive those things that lie deeply hidden, heard loud and clear. So one card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. So strong resistance to connection to this transmission this is exactly what I just heard. And my sage is out. Yeah, my gifts, I have never, thank you, heard loud and clear, been stronger in my gifts than I am today. Orange sacral energies. Earth is reversed. Can't make it up. Card 17 breaks to an eight. This movement, this is why there's movement, this big boom movement here to get Earth on the God journey, okay? It's another phase. It's always going to, you're always going to be required to evolve here. This is what you embarked here to do. You are detached from this knowing maybe, but this is what your soul embarked here to do. So turning the deck in the upright based on Earth, and being in flow, absolutely. Card number 20 breaks to, uh, breaks to a two, all about balance, partnerships, and or alliances. This is about being in energetic flow, not fighting anything, not feeling like you have to guide anything, um, just being, okay? And allowing God to move you in the direction that you need to go. I was just shown the rainmaker in my mind's eye, I am currently in Rainmaker energy. Heard loud and clear. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. That's most helpful. Best card for navigating the energy. Navigating. Hmm. Thank you. 
Kate heard loud and clear. Yep. Someone has been gifted God's staff and is using it here in this realm. Now, let's talk about the person that has been gifted the power of God's staff. God is so intentional in everything that he does. Card number 51. This lets me know that even when this person is in their lowest of the lows, they are not in devil energy. Okay? This is an extremely raised being for God to give his staff. And they want to use, or excuse me, use. Interesting. You can't make it up. They want to um, read this card. So we'll read the staff. Card 51. Why are we using the staff? Because there are those who refuse to enter the spiral and lay their burdens down and come out refreshed and renewed. And because you refuse to do the spiral work, God is forcing you, okay? So the very next card is the staff. Can't make it up. The essence. The staff is the symbol of authority. It holds the power to temper extremes. The staff helps you find the right course of action, the way of the middle, and aids you to maintain your balance after you begin walking in that direction. Moses carried a serpent staff through the desert, and with it he could summon the power of nature to heal or call plagues. The staff reminds you of the impermanence of all things and that your authority must come from your deep longing to serve not about being greedy not any of that this is about a longing to serve the mantle of the earth keeper i was just showing the earth keeper card again is a mantle to serve the earth and help it reach its highest vibration the invitation you know how to flow easily between polarities how to weigh all possibilities and instinctively select the right path Trust your inner wisdom and take the first step on a journey that your heart has already embarked on. Use the power of the staff to unite what appears to be divided to find the delicate balance between will and surrender. The medicine for those that need to correct course. You are caught in the delicate balance between opposing forces, between masculine and feminine, between action and non-action. Use this to your advantage, as there can be no day without night, no low without high, no wrong without right. This is the time to take corrective action, beginning with your beliefs about what needs to be fixed or repaired. Let destiny take its course, nudging it slightly along. Too many things to even talk about. Matching everything we've talked about, okay? Can't make any of this up. This is huge movement here on the earth realm. Heard loud and clear again. Next, we have the um, Enchanted Map Oracle deck. This is wrapped in red, all about the root chakra, rooted issues getting to the root of the matter. More than that, I feel this as things that are being physically manifested here on this realm. So the magical map shifter, it's based on this magical ass person that is shifting things on this realm, okay? Card number 52 brings to a seven already on their God journey. What's first and foremost, I tell you, no lies. This person is already on their God journey. Their compass is already set first and foremost to the truest north. That's on their most ideal path here in this realm. To being their most authentic self, doing the thing that God sent them here to do in the way that God sent them here to do it. Beautiful. And my sage is out again. Nothing will stop this energy. Nothing will stop my mission. Nothing will stop the delivery of this clear and concise divine message. Seeking stability, stabilization, heard loud and clear. Stabilizing Gaia. told to stop based on still the magical map shifter so seven energy 
and this magical fervent prayer that I told you days ago was driving this energy because there's a luminous warrior in the mix. 32 breaks to a five. This fervent prayer is going to bring change in a huge way felt throughout realms, okay? Heard loud and clear. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. Just one. The best card for help moving forward. Just one. I knew it was going to be a whole bunch because I, I feel the internal, feel and hear the internal chatter, okay? So falling in my lap. Someone being put in a deep freeze. Card number 26. Sixes are about, excuse me, two six breaks to an eight. Eights are about movement and abundance. So that's contradictory, right? 26, movement and abundance. A card of movement and abundance and deep freeze means that somebody is putting a halt, literally. They just showed me someone with their wand putting someone into a deep freeze. Strong thing on wand. Falling all on the floor. I just want to make sure I got everything. Okay, so on um, nurtured feminine energy, two cards come a upright and one face down. So upright, we have bone collector energy and we have rescue energy, okay? So 116. Super interesting. Mm -hmm. With an eight, yes. So there is bone collector energy, a new beginning for this bone collector. And rescue. This is the 16. This fraudulent 16 is being rescued by the upper round because they can't save themselves. They won't step into the medicine wheel or into the spiral to um, release those things that don't serve their highest good. And so... What's unknown is that there's education here, teaching, heard loud and clear. Card number 35 breaks to an eight. So we have cards number 1168. I am also holding a read with these numbers as a tag. Um, I believe it's one, zero, eight, and six, some combination of that. And so that's my sign to release that read on today also. Um, so that'll be released gives me a person, so a date of birth, and I feel this is 816 energy, any combination of those numbers. Then falling, what is this? Oh yeah, this is a deep freeze energy, yeah. So yeah, we have someone literally pause, uh, pressing pause on this energy with their wand, okay? This is our message. They want to read, we'll read since this came out, in my lap, front and center, we'll read the deep freeze. Super interesting. I don't mean to laugh. I have, The way that I feel energy is so intense. I have to get myself in a light-bodied energy to deliver these messages so that I am not affected by the darkness that's in them. So when you see me joking, that is, that's exactly what I'm doing. It's so I don't carry this nag negative nag. Super interesting. Negative energy. Yep. Somebody definitely in a dry desert, not seeing their own fruitfulness because they're concentrating on someone else's and jealous and envious about it. Then I went to home, which is a card of family, and then deep freeze, okay? And I'll read it in its entirety, heard loud and clear. That means I'm reading reversed and upright, starting with upright. Deep freeze, everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Upright, the cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now. So reflect, 
read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream, okay? This is for the light energy. I, you, I can't make it up. It's time for you to rejuvenate, rest, and dream. For those that are in reversed energy, nothing you can do right now will amount to anything substantial no matter how much you try. Push, manipulate, or conjole. Life wants you to take a break. You need to do this now, lest you become exhausted and be forced to rest. Strong zing on forced to rest. What you need will be there for you when you emerge in the springtime. For now, winter has its own ideas for you. Wait for signs of spring, okay? And that's wait for signs of spring. That's about waiting for signs of new growth in your life, okay? This is our message today, beautiful people. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like comment, share, and subscribe. Also, check the description box. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, Leo energy super, super strong felt now. Until next time, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.